Hello and welcome to this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm your host Michael and here we are with episode 7. I hope you guys are doing great. Let's get this show on the road. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear? Sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> Well, the world's gotta feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's gonna sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Sell those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town? Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. But jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Ain't easy finding Nova Virtues these days. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Dog, that's sick. Uh, hey, um... Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. 
And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Preem, thanks. Hey. Could go for a bite. I figured. What can I get you? Been in Night City long now? Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something from us, Cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Chum. It was just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop. Here, at my stand. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, a silver hand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on, impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Called him a pussy. Told him to stop being one. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kiroshis. Hey. Appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help a chum out. I need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. 
Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Fucking hell, Johnny. Why sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist jib. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Uh, let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a sig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That sig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. So, what you want to get... Well, you can get a few things. I like getting this. Samurai Combat Turtleneck. It's kind of cool. That's the one you want, though, right here. And just because it's like a guitar pick. <laughs> Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. You can be anyone. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut. Stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. You want to force him to change. Well, you can't just blow him up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people, then. And the average Janes and Joes. Maybe they don't want to change. It's their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil, might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on the how. Her eyes are really like that. Just saying that. I thought it was a glitch when I first seen it. It's not. Let's see where we go.
my dear. I need you to pay a visit to a tiger claw den and retrieve something for me. I know you are up to the task. I am attaching more information. Read it carefully. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you me. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up any time, you hear? Hello, Casino. back here, did you, lady? I 
How's your day going? Win anything? Yeah, a few eddies here and there. <laughs> no, at least that's something, right? But I didn't spend them all singing. Oh, I don't have money. I wish there was an easier way to equip. You know, just uh, do that. Persons intending to I love how they like they can't suss me out. <laughs> oh, technically in a if you are looking for a taste of paradise, public area. Hey, how's the cash flow look? Don't even ask. It's Ennis. It's pathetic. Say what you will about Botex. She could work the machines. Not like our new gong.
Pause it. Pause it. There we go. Now we saw. No, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, he per pretty much just said, good job, B, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, that's what she said. Anyway. And we leave without them even knowing. I don't know what the, all this was about, but uh, I think everything's said and done, done now. Is that even possible? Huh. Old wheels are up and running.
My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. What nation you ride with, Dakota? The Aldecaldos. But I do not ride anymore. I'm V. Rode with the backers. You rode? Past tense. And now? Now I don't. I see. We will be in touch, V. while old friend hmm. let's see what we got here it's warm engine was running just a short while ago new coil plugs somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft what's this now someone cleaned the cooling fan filled up the brake fluid Except... Huh. With water. Huh. New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Alright. Seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! The... What? No, it's my car. No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? Because it broke down, and I... And you abandoned it, and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. This last week, I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heap running. Should have started with the step motor. Would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy. Starts sticking. Clear the carbon deposits, and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, oh, see? Takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Car's mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on. Try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. I don't want to live here. Not now. Timing chain's about rusted through. So? You want to replace it, else it's liable to snap if you open her up even a bit. Take her over 30. Hold on, hold on. Mean to say I can have her? I mean to say you can. Wouldn't have a use for her here anyway. Not your typical urban vehicle. Roads rise to meet you, clever girl. Jeez. Thanks. Not sure what to say. Well, well, this nomad planted roots. Could it be? Dunno. Hard to ruminate on that when you got a fucking time bomb lodged in your head. If it's any consolation, fucking time bomb feels shitty about it, too. I know, Johnny. Come on. Let's ghost. This place makes my skin crawl. Since we're here, I feel like we should at least check this out.
Look who's still lying in his own luck. My man, Dex Deshaun. How's that quiet life working out for you now, Chum? Dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half-gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. <laughs> the Bartmoss. Data crash rabbit Bartmoss. Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah. Yeah, him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh-huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank-powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Nah, I need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Well, well. An SGI Tech Elisla. It's best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the afterlife goes by Nix. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up, see what happens. Could end up pulling something from it.
Listen, from one net runner to another, you got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bardmoss era. Rach Bardmoss, the Bardmoss. Tell me you're fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. I heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows? But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you. Oh my god, look how expensive those are. What's it like, working for Rogue? It's fine. But that's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Hey, Nix, listen. Found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. God damn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Found it outside town, in a fridge next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man when looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. I think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk? A data crash-like thing, or uh, rabbits? Because if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt. But not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Moss should have done better. Ah! 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 Probably just ah! did. Dog shit, cat shit, rat shit! Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done, stick. Okay, what do we got here? Saw what we got. 
A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Shh. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? Damn straight. I am the best net runner in town, after all. Out it, kid. But maybe someday. All right. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or, uh, you need help? No, no. Be just fine. Couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man. I think he gave me some uh, cyberdex, some new uh, stuff for the cyberdex. Check that right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me all the good stuff. Can't equip them though, sadly. I need a tier 5 one to equip it, but it's alright. We will have one eventually. See you later, Nix. Hang on just a little longer, Chu. Ripper's on the way. Say. The club industry's always been a meat grinder. 
attach the dates for you. BD? Maybe something softer? You don't got any real girls? We employ dancers here. No joy girls, no dolls. I heard this was a fun club. I could offer you a booth with a private dance, or a hard BD. Excellent choices, both. I want the real deal, not some shitty virtue. Welcome. Please go right ahead. Not so fast, little man. No weapons allowed. We're running a civilized operation. See? Wasn't so hard. Welcome to Empathy. Let those pricks twist your arm. I won't. We must build our network within the city council. For me, just. just one more. Of How you doing? <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking about. Get in, install what you need, get out like it ain't no thing. Gig is closed. Hey, we're probably gonna equip everything again. <laughs> of course. Plan B is actually better now. So we're gonna take that mod off. So using the gun that shot us, put that mod back on. Check the nearest drop point. Got something big waiting for you with your name on it. Consider a gentle nudge to make sure you keep taking these jobs in the supreme direction. 
So it, because I did exactly what he wanted me to do, I get a reward for it. Oh my god, look at that car. See that ghost car? That was crazy. My lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey! He was asked in nine. Well, now I'm in front. That a problem? Uh, no, no. It's fine. What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse, dude. Uh, 77 11 one Incident report on file. Confirm. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101010? Actually, a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah! Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? <laughs> sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proven costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. 
control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. So basically, if you didn't know, Delamain is an AI, and he fully controls this factory without human intervention. Spooky future, right? No factory workers at all. Just an AI. What is this? Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. And now there's going to be missing Delamain cars all over the city. That we can search for. I think it's leading to me to one now. Come on, dude. Why does the map always do this? There we go. Yeah, there's one there. All the damn things look the same, so it's really hard to tell which one's which. Unless you know the exact locations. Obviously, Pan Am. You might have to go to this one first all the time. Yeah, it feels like that. Because usually there's more. Alright, yeah, I guess because this is the first one in the mission, we gotta go there first. Hey, what? No. I won't watch anything. I'm gonna drive blind in fact. Here we go. <laughs> vehicles might very well be near where you are now. Thanks. Try to find him. He's up here somewhere. I think I know exactly where he's at. There he is. Can't take it. It's too much. 
What is? All of it. The city, the bustle, the crowds. It's overwhelming. Well, so let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving. Through the streets. Well, uh, yeah. Afraid so. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. You're welcome in, but do take it slow. And try not to hit anything. Perfect place for the hill, too. So, yeah, you don't want to hit anything. And don't go too fast. Just gotta take a slow, leisurely drive through the city. And hope to God nobody else rams into me. That ad was so appropriate right now. Your only worry is getting stuck in traffic. Uh, it's green people, why aren't you moving? Oh, now it's red. Going to die. Going a little too fast for Don't tell me that's a joke. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't be happy. How did you get this? Did you sell your camera? Maybe. For the record, it's gorgeous. Finally. That many eddies? Oh, I shan't be alone here. I've got See? It wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. But still, I thank you. Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. Sucking suits.
fuck you looking at? Nothing to see here. Move along. What's going on here? This your first day in Night City? What's it fucking look like? Get out of here, pissant! Leave him alone. See this badge? That means I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, really? I know I feel the deal. Help! God damn it! Ah, yes! Get out of luck! Why is it every time I get a shotgun, he's just reloading constantly? Ugh. You're shit out of luck. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> uh, <coughs> shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, uh, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? <laughs> I kind of want Eddie's. Is it really that hard to figure out? I'll give you a hint. It starts with Euro and ends with dollars. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Y you need a reward. Uh, is this enough? Give me everything you got. You know, it's not if you're asking. Don't make me finish with the badge you started. Okay, here. Here, here. That, that, that's everything I have on me. <laughs> have a pleasant evening. What's your life worth? Hey, he's still Corpo. We don't like Corpos. At least this version, though. No. I think Street Kid's, like, very against Corpo. Nomad's, like, in between. And then obviously Corpo is just like before Corpo. Let's see what this gig is. Sheets are saying it was work-related stress, but our folks are calling foul play. So, think you can dig something up? Got more deets attached. Obviously, a bunch of dudes. I think there's even one back there. You think you stand a chance?
And again, this won't kill them, it just knocks them out. Of course, sometimes. Okay. Come out alone and you won't get hurt. Essentially what you do to them is you give them a stroke. So I mean, it's not death, but it's not great either. But that was actually the assault. We probably could have went in there guns blazing. Harder this time. Crying out. <clears throat> okay, I'm going. Some kids trying to break into our sub net. Got nothing else to do, huh? Got some. Blood on my shoes.
Ninja Robot. on the edge of my fucking seat. Luckily, it's all over. You handled it like a true profesh. I got the data, and you're in the clear. Closing the gig. Stash you. Well, well, No, 
is no control over his vehicle. <laughs> I guess we'll see Pan Am now. Unless... What's this? I don't want to say Pan Am for the next episode. Because <coughs> that way we can get like a good episode with her. About her. Can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. One spunky monkey place. Pass on the coffee. I'll uh, have a spunky monkey instead. Everyone listen up. This is a fucking robbery. Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you. Shut the fuck up and put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are. Somebody likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. You're giving me mixed signals here. How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if my hands are in the air? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is gonna get you out of this? You know who always dies first? Funny people like you. Wallet with eddies. Nah. I can't believe you've made it this far. You and your shit again? People who don't judge their competition don't last too long on the streets. I've met people like you before. They're all dead now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. Trying to trip me up. I've danced with Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. <laughs> For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's 6th Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Want some guns? Is there anything cool here? I went from all item. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. Don't make trouble. I forgot my spunky monkey. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. There we go. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. It's good. Let's get that fruit. We saw the had some fruit. Beer and some fruit. That dude was asleep through it all, wasn't he? Got a job for you. 
My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kinda spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Chill place you got here. Quiet. Calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. <gasps> oh shit. He went with the cops, are ya? More the opposite. <gasps> Phew. <laughs> good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Anything available short notice? Oh, uh, one sec. Uh, checking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on. I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. Find out what happened to Booker. And two oh three is where we need to go. Not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Huh. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. 
A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Gonna puke? Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, oh, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? <laughs> like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Time to look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. I bet 102 was us. <laughs> He didn't have to kill him, he was an innocent. He was a potential witness, is what he was. Ugh. <sighs> 
Attention NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Hargreave Street. APB out for Darius Miles, wanted for murder. Perp belongs to Sixth Street Gang and leads one of its drug manufacturing rings. The city has promised a reward for terminating the threat from Miles and his drug cell. So, V, the beta acid secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for 10 bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contracts closed. Gratitude's on the way. So way better. off those real quick. Uh, I guess we'll do this one. Your 
problem. I don't know, you tell me. Baby. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Hmm. You know your shit and you've got good taste. Meat beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. What's the race like? Any special rules? Lack of them, actually. You race in pairs. Driver and gunner. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? This won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. Done my fair share of rounds. And your last driver? They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Uh, sorry. Uh, sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. There a carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50-50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. We need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Shut the fuck up and get him. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. Hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. Open See you fire! there. Shotgun it does not load fast. Hey, heard about a massacre at a homeless camp. Well, well, well. Send you the info I have so far, but it's pretty thin. You probably already gathered it's a cyber psycho. Oh, and I prefer if he didn't die. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? Finally gonna use our one-handed club.
So sometimes it won't show up. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to journal, shards, usually it's in cyber psycho. And just click both. Pretty sure it's this one though. Then you just go to your phone. See, we didn't kill her. That's good. Even though they probably deserve to die because they usually massacre people like crazy. Man, there's just so much stuff down here. Rostovich? You blind motherfucker? Tetronica Loga's right there. The SPT-32 grad. Best sniper ever made, hands down. I got a fight here, you buck. In the flesh. <laughs> Looking at you's making my wallet wet. Yo, I'm putting all I got against you. Hmm. No lack in confidence, I see. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Titanium bones, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? Doesn't even look like you've got a leg. This rifle, grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? Just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured, KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? I don't know. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. I'll toss in the sniper. I mean, that is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. 
Rifles on the table. Follow me. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Ah! Oh. He's getting his ass beat. Say that again. I'll rip that tongue out. Come on. Hand over the rifle. Oh, my rotten meat. Get him! Here we go! And tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. New job's been tough on her lately. Get a beer here? Lothbrock, maybe? Sorry, boss. No beer here. What do you got? Maybe something apricot flavor? Some people say this gives them hiccups, but they lie. I never had. You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? Your new pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Zeta Tech. 
bitch just leaves and doesn't even say bye? We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. Then what? Now she's too good for us? Double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown-ass woman now. You should follow her example. You getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor? Says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, then you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks he's off already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, he following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. That ought to teach him. Just between the two of us, you're really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold? Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neurostims. Not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way... Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. Okay, I really need to say this. He's selling threads or collecting them. It's hard to tell at a glance. Back on the street, they tell you to get a job, you get a job, they make fun of you. Make up your damn minds, people! <laughs> what are you selling? Anything you can see. Oh, let me sell... not that. Secure written, no. Actually, what's this look like? Yeah, don't like the color. Nah. That's not too bad. No. Nah. Kinda looks cool, actually. I like it, but... Border Patrol, no. Nah. I do like that. I keep the rest. Get rid of this pistol. I know it's got mods on it, but I don't really care. Oh yeah, shit, I wanted to see what she's actually selling. Uh Yeah, I'll buy that. Sure. Why not? Kinda cool looking.
brain dance ruined my life. Have a good day. There was something else. Ah, you're back. Good. What's this smell? Is that fruit? Wait, dish soap? Ah, specialty of the house. My little apricot surprise. When she ferments right, she's actually a local favorite. Looking for a pick-me-up. Got any chromantic or? Boy, do I, Chief. What don't I have? Would've touched that stuff myself, but hey, hey. Customer is king, am I right? <laughs> 